In this third part of chord progression theory, I wanted to show you the five notes that are not represented in the number system. Like for example, in the key of A, we have numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But there are actually 12 notes in music so if you do your math, that is 12 minus 7. There's actually five notes that are not represented here. For example, C, that's not between a 2 and a 3. F, that's between 5 and a 6. G is between 6 and a 7. Well, what about those notes or chords? Are those never, ever used, or what's going on here? And the default default chord progression theory doesn't include those but you remember we talked about how music is beyond science it's art so it doesn't mean you can't ever use those in fact a lot of songs use chords that are between these numbers so I wanted to show you what happens when a song does include one of those how is it notated and you know uh, how do you um, how can you kind of identify those so let me give you an example here so whenever you get a note or a chord, that's in between the numbers. There's five of them. Let me show you. I'll give you a circle these. So A sharp or B flat is in between. C is in between two and three. D sharp and E flat. F is there. And G it's between six and seven. So one, two, three, four, five. The way those would be indicated is by a flat symbol in front of the numbers. For example, G here would be a flatted seven. See, it's flat means lower, one lower. So here's a seven G sharp, flat, 7 would be a G. So flat 7. Whoop. Let me actually write this over here. Flat. Flat 7 in the key of A would be a G. Uh, F here is between 5 and 6. You would call that flat 6 would be an F. D sharp or E flat would be between 4 and 5. We would call that flat 5. Flat 5. I'm just going to call this D sharp. doesn't really matter. Um, C is between 2 and 3. We would call that flat 3 because it's one step lower than 3. Should be C. There's one more. There's a two, one between one and two. We would call that flat two. Flat two would be A sharp or B flat, but we're going to put A sharp for now. So those five missing notes or chords will all be represented by a flat symbol before the number. So whenever you see a flat note, symbol before a number that also tells you it's out of the default um, and then you can you know draw up your diagram of your number system here and figure out what those are the other thing that you need to know is by default whenever you see a f one of these five flatted chords they are by default major chords so flat seven is a G major flat six is an F major. Flat five is a D sharp major. Flat three, C major. Flat two would be an A sharp major. Now that's by default, okay? So whenever you see this, that's what it is. However, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes you might get a chord like a flat five minor. Um, and in the key of A, all you need to do is go find where flat 5 is. There's 5, there's 4, so flat 5 is in between. D sharp, D 
sharp would be a flat five, but the little M would make it a minor. So that's how you would see it. Now, from at least the modern songs that we do in worship, um, I told you that most of the songs follow just the general chords in the chord progression theory. That means one, four, five is major, two, three, sixes are minor. But what I've noticed is when songs go outside of that default, when it uses one of the outside chords, the first and the most common chord that is used when it goes outside is this chord right here, the flat seven, flat seven. And almost always it's used as a major chord, but you know, you'll get songs in the key of let's say A, a G major chord, which is really it's outside of the key, but you'll find that a lot. So now knowing these rules and now knowing some of the exceptions to the rules, you should be completely prepared to read any number chart and figure out what all those chords mean. Um, so um, yeah, I, I mean here at church we have for all our songs we do, we write them both in numbers a chord progression and by the actual chord names. Uh, but uh, if you're not familiar with them, you might want to look that up and see, you know, some examples of this and how to be able to work it. Okay.